Let's talk about the case of the sea lamprey, a slippery character that's been doing its best to evade authorities in the Great Lakes for decades. The sea lamprey looks like an eel, acts like a leech, but is actually a fish. There's its mouth filled with teeth. There's one of his eyes. There's another eye on the other side. It usually has seven holes. Never five, never six. Whenever you see a photo, you can count the holes. Your nose has two holes, they have seven. Think of them as their gills, how they breathe. And they have that long flat tail, which allows them to outswim most fish. Here's a close up of their mouth. Those are all teeth. An adult sea lamprey often has more than a hundred teeth. It looks like it has an evil smile. Some teeth are so sharp, they look like fangs. And that in the middle is its tongue. They even have teeth on their tongue. And what do sea lamprey do? They attach themselves to fish. Sea lamprey are parasites. They live off other creatures. You can see one there attached to the gill. And they often leave a wound, a sore on the fish when they fall off. Think of sea lamprey like a giant mosquito. And you know what a mosquito does to you. Or a leech or a vampire. They suck all the life all the blood, all the fluids out of a fish. When the sea lamprey first came into the Great Lakes, they killed millions of fish, gone. Lake trout, whitefish almost completely disappeared because just one sea lamprey, just one, will kill up to 40 to 50 pounds of fish in their lifetime. How much? Think of the size of a first or second grader. That's pretty big. So bad news for our fish. But the good news for you, for me, for our friends, they don't like people. They don't like humans. Well, they might look at me and say, wait a minute, look how big he is. There's breakfast, lunch, and dinner all in one. No, it's not our size. It's something about our insides they don't like. Not our bones. Not our organs. That's right, our blood. How is our blood different from fish? They can temperature. That's right, we're warm-blooded. They like cold-blooded. So we're not on their menu. Which is a good thing, because there are so many in our rivers, lakes, and streams, there are people, that's their job. They go to work every day to catch lamprey. I met a man, and he said, in a single day in a river, we can catch up to 300. In one day, in one river. I said, that's amazing. Tell me more. A few months later, I met a woman. She said, I do the same work. I also have a job in lamprey control. I said, really? Tell me more. And the first thing they both said, this is at different times, several months apart, they both said, well, on the first day at work, we want to know what a live lamprey would feel like biting our skin. I said, seriously, why would you do that? They said, they both said, we want to know what a fish feels like when it's attacked. So I asked them the obvious question, does it hurt? And they both said the same thing, almost word for word. They both said, no, it doesn't hurt. It actually kind of tickles, tickles. But it's kind of creepy having a sea lamprey hanging from your arm. Luckily, they said it only stayed for maybe 10 seconds before it let go and said, Yuck, you're warm blood. We don't like you. Well, they didn't really say that because they don't talk, but they're thinking it. So here's a funny story. I was talking to a group of adults at a library one night, and a man raised his hand and said, I see you have a computer. Can you go on the Internet? I was puzzled. I said, not right now. Why are you asking about my computer and the Internet? He said, well, if you look up on the Internet, see Lamprey on the forehead... He said, you're going to see my picture on your computer. I said, what? You had a sea lamprey stuck on your head? He said, you go home, you check it out. Well, I thought the man had to be joking, but when I got home and checked it out, here's what I saw. <gasps> That's him. That's the guy I met. He claimed it was stuck on his head not for 10 seconds. He said it was there for 10 minutes. 10 minutes it was stuck on his head. And believe it or not, he's a teacher. And for the next week when he went to school, every day in the morning when he showed up for class, he had a big red spot on his forehead where the lamprey had been stuck. I can't imagine a lot of other teachers would want one stuck on their heads. Now this one is rubber, and you don't have to be glue to have one stuck on you. Of course it's fake. A real one might be up to two or three feet long. When they're in the water, their skin is rather slimy. They come in various colors, gray, brown, black, yellow, but not purple, pink, or blue, because with all those colors, which are a lot, we might have to call it something else. 
maybe a rainbow trout, which it is not. Hey, I have a sea lamprey joke for you. Never mind. It sucks. Sea lamprey are very old. Scientists say they are older than dinosaurs. The lifespan of just one sea lamprey might be seven or eight years, but as a species, they're more than 350 million years old. Older than T-Rex. They're prehistoric. They're super old. Now let's talk about the life cycle of the sea lamprey. They start from eggs. One female will lay 50 to 60,000 eggs. They're very tiny, very small, almost like the size of poppy seeds or quinoa, or you can imagine like grains of sand. This is the jar of half a clutch, about half the eggs of one female. Now, only one in about 10 will survive, will hatch. Now that doesn't sound like many, but out of 50 to 60,000 eggs, that's still five to 6,000 sea lamprey. That's plenty. When sea lamprey are born, they are super small, like very little worms. They're born blind and toothless. They have no eyesight and no teeth. They live the first three to five years of their life underground, burled into the beds of rivers and streams, occasionally coming out for food to eat little microorganisms until they can develop their eyes and their teeth. And when they grow, they become big and they become hungry. And when they're hungry, they go after some of our biggest and best fish. A sea lamprey attaches to fish with its suction cup mouth and pin sharp teeth. A drill like tongue cuts a hole in the side of the fish. Now a large fish may live a week or two with a sea lamprey attached, but eventually it will die. Scientists estimate that if you take seven fish attacked by lamprey, only one in seven will survive. Now fish will struggle to shake sea lamprey loose. I once met a teacher who had a cottage in northern Michigan and she said one summer evening they were sitting out watching the stars and they could hear this strange like slapping sound on the water and when they got out their binoculars and looked they could see fish leaping into the air hitting the water trying to dislodge the lamprey that were stuck to their bodies. She said it was a rather sorry sight. That's how strong lamprey can be. I got to hold a live sea lamprey once, and I was amazed at how strong it was. Sea lamprey have no bones, no spine, no vertebrae, but they're all muscle. So they're really strong. They asked me if I wanted one attached to my head. And I said, uh, I like my brain, maybe not. Well, what about your hand, they asked. And I thought, well, students are going to ask if I ever held a live one, so I said, go ahead. Stick one on my hand. Now remember how I was told they said it tickles? Well, the word tickle never entered my mind. The one word that came to me was pain, because I felt two sensations. The teeth felt like needles poking into my skin. And they say the suction power is five times stronger than the world's best vacuum. It felt like it wanted to suck all the blood out of my hand while it was poking me with needles and pins right into my skin. I thought it was there forever, but it might have been only four or five seconds. Yet it was long enough that when they pulled it off my hand, you could see the teeth marks. They said if it had been there a little bit longer, I would have felt the tongue starting to drill a hole into the middle of my hand. I didn't care to have that feeling. So, sea lamprey, think sea vampire, bloody awful fish. I hope you've enjoyed what I've shared. Please subscribe to my channel to follow more cases of invasive species. And as always, thanks for watching.